All right, so in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about how to take an alkyl halide, right, something that's an electrophile, carbon with a delta plus and a bromine, and turn it into a carboxylic acid using CO2, so carbon dioxide, CO2. So I've labeled this, and we're going to do this. We're going to make a granier first, so turn this carbon into a, from an electrophile to a nucleophile. CO2 is going to be an electrophile that reacts with our granier. I see I would label that carbon per blue to represent where that carbon ends up. And then we finally have to work up with a little bit of acid to actually reprotonate our carboxylate to end up with a carboxylic acid. So the first step, we're going to turn our alkyl halide into a grignard. So we've seen this before. This is grignard z magnesium zero. And so the way I like to draw it is kind of this radical uh, oxidative addition that gives an ethyl grignard now. So what we've effectively done is we turned what was an electrophile, the carbon that was an electrophile, now into a nucleophile. Let's record a number of our carbons. One, two, one, two. So carbon two was an electrophile, was bonded to bromine. Now it's a nucleophile, it's bonded to magnesium. Keeping track of all those electrons, two electrons, two electrons, two and two, that's where those electrons went. This is now magnesium got oxidized. This is magnesium two plus now. So that carbon is a nucleophile, and that carbon is going to react with CO2. So let's draw CO2 in our second step. There's that carbon, that blue carbon, the Lewis dot structure of CO2 is there. So that carbon is pretty electrophilic. So the Grignard, the carbon 2 is nucleophilic, it's going to react with the blue carbon. And in an addition step, so it's adding in. Our blue carbon, we now have it. Not really a tetrahedral tetra intermediate, right? That carbon, that blue carbon was sp hybridized, had two pi bonds, now it's sp2. But now we've effectively added that in, and we have the salt if we want to make sure we balance our charges. People are worried about that, right? The Grignard's there, the plus charge, so it's coordinating there. Now, if we actually want to get the carboxylic acid though, that's the next step. We have to add a third step. We need a protonation. So a little H plus. It'll go there. And we'll protonate it, make our carboxylic acid following those steps. Uh, so it's a nice way to turn an alkyl halide with a Grignard for our first step. Grignard for our first step, that oxidative addition. Use CO2 as an electrophile, so the carbon of CO2 is a way to add one carbon piece and turn it into a carboxylic acid. And then protonation, so you add it in, we get a carboxylate, and then we need to protonate it to make it organic. So then the final step here is this protonation, which was around here, I guess, uh, and that gets us to our carboxylic acid.